Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Ty Joyce. Today on Energy, we're going to check out the dive-in movie that turned our RSC pool into a movie theater. And later on the show, we're going to look at the latest line dancing craze sweeping O'Fallon. But first, let's get into the action with our newest RSC fitness classes. Looking for a break from your usual workout class routine? The Renaud Spirit Center has two brand new classes for all you fitness fans out there. First up, Hip Hop Hustle is a dance party like no other. Join our instructors for a black light, glow in the dark combination of easy to learn hip hop dance moves perfectly choreographed to motivating, high energy music. It's the ultimate cardiovascular challenge. The best part is it requires no previous dance experience and you'll really burn those calories. Hip Hop Hustle is a, a dance class that kind of combines current music, a lot of basic dance hip hop type moves, but it, all in all it's just a great cardio workout. The thing that makes Hip Hop Hustle stand out is that it's a really fun class. It's a lot of dancing and just letting loose, being able to have fun, where some of the other classes are a lot more athletic. They do a lot more push-ups, lunges, things like that, that tend to burn out the muscles and you're thinking about the pain rather than the fun that you're having. Currently, Hip Hop Hustle is offered the last Friday of the month, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. We thought that way people come in, get their workout in, they still have time to go out or do whatever they're wanting to do for their Friday night. As the class gets more popular, we're going to try to offer it more nights of the week. Even if you've got two left feet, Hip Hop Hustle is the perfect Friday night workout for you. Hip Hop Hustle is designed for anyone. Um, like I said, it's just a really fun class. You can take it as high impact as you want to or you can slow it down and make it whatever is going to work for you. Our second new class is more than just a great reason to head to the gym. Zumbatomic classes make getting fit fun for children between the ages of 4 and 12. It's a high energy fitness party with lots of dance routines and music. This class will increase your child's focus, build confidence, and improve coordination. Zumbatomic is great for kids. It teaches them leadership and teamwork and it builds their confidence. Um, my goal with every class is to have every child walk out feeling happy and full of joy and confident in everything that they've just accomplished in the class. So Zumbatomic is a great opportunity for your kids. It's a great chance to get them out with their peers and to get them active and to get them excited about fitness and what it can do for them in the future. It is so important that we get our kids moving. Um, recommendations nowadays are that Kids have one hour of physical activity every day. Zumatomic's dance party theme makes fitness fun, which is a message kids will really remember. It's really important that kids have a role model in their life to show them that fitness is fun and it's part of having a healthy lifestyle. And if we start them young, learning how much fun fitness can be, then as they grow into teens and adults, we're going to continue that active lifestyle for the future. You can sign up for either class by contacting the Renaud Spirit Center at 636-474-2732. Registration is a snap, and you can even register at the door for Hip Hop Hustle. Zumbatomic classes start on March 12th, April 9th, May 7th, and June 11th. Hip Hop Hustle classes are the last Friday of every month. Both of these classes offer a fun way to a newer, healthier you. Achieve your goals with the Renaud Spirit Center's fitness classes. Spring doesn't just mean warmer weather and shorts. Let's see how our parks maintenance crews are gearing up for the spring season. The birds are singing and the trees are blooming, and that can only mean one thing. Spring is finally here in O'Fallon, and our city's park staff is hard at work getting our fields ready for the busy spring schedule. Mowers are roaring to life, soccer goals are springing up like weeds, and our parks are looking better than ever. Today we are preparing our soccer fields for the start of our soccer season. Our preparation for this, our spring season actually starts back in the fall of last year. That's a year-long process. Uh, today we are applying pre-emergence to these fields to help control with the weeds. Um, then we're setting up all of our soccer goals and uh, applying our nets, lining out all the fields so that they're ready to go for the soccer season. To uh, prepare and maintain our soccer fields, we uh, come out and we inspect on a weekly basis repair any holes and any damage done to the turf, uh, inspect our irrigation systems, and just make sure that everything is good and ready for play each week. 
Maintaining our city's parks is a full-time job requiring about 160 man hours of work each week. But take just one trip into O'Fallon Park and you'll agree it's worth the effort. The sports park soccer field maintenance you've seen makes our soccer leagues a possibility, but everyone benefits from maintaining the natural beauty of our O'Fallon parks. Everyone benefits, uh, it's not just the soccer players, um, anyone from walking their dog, uh, playing frisbee, utilizing the playground, uh, just a well-rounded park that everyone benefits from. Bring your inner tube but leave the popcorn at home. Our dive-in movies are the perfect way to spend time with your family. We turned the Renaud Spirit Center pool into our very own dive-in movie theater, and dozens of patrons brought their inner tubes, kicked their feet up, and enjoyed the show. The dive-in movie is a regular favorite among RSC members looking for a great family-friendly event. Dive-in movie is a special event for patrons that come into the Renaud Spirit Center that we offer just for a fun uh, environment for these kids just to come out and watch a movie while they swim. Uh, it's a fun family event. Dive-in movie day kicks off like any other day at the Renaud Spirit Center. Swimmers both young and old splash around on the many water features, race down our 185-foot slide, and float through our lazy river. As the sun goes down, the inner tubes come out, and everyone settles in for a fun-filled movie night with their family and friends. So the dive-in movie is a very unique event where families can come in prior to the movie starting, um, use the entire pool to their use, all the play features are still on. Uh, then once the movie starts, they can lounge back in their inner tubes that we provide for them uh, and just enjoy the movie. With home theaters becoming more and more popular, why do so many people choose to watch a movie in a pool? It's a great special event and I think everybody that comes out to these sort of events really enjoy just the atmosphere because um, it really has a movie appeal. It's dark. Uh, you can see the movie really well actually. Um, and you can still also play, uh, go down the slide, um, and it's just a good overall experience for everyone. Think this looked like fun? We've got a few more movie events coming up. Our next dive-in movie is on June 22nd at the Alligators Creek Pool, featuring the movie Dolphin's Tale. And on June 28th, the Renaud Spirit Center will show The Smurfs. For more information on any of these events, call the Renaud Spirit Center at 636-474-2732. I think everybody should come out and check out the Diving Movie here at the Renaud Spirit Center because it's a great, unique family environment. Kids will enjoy their time here and parents can lounge back and watch and enjoy the film. The O'Fallon Theatre Works' latest play, Annie Jr., debuts on April 20th. Here's an inside look at the production. Annie Jr. is coming to O'Fallon. The O'Fallon Theatre Works troupe is currently practicing this mesmerizing one-act musical, which will debut in April. Set in the 1930s, the show follows the adventures of Annie, an 11-year-old girl trying to escape from her orphanage. With great songs, amazing dances, and a lot of fun, Annie Jr. is a show you won't want to miss. I think that anybody should come see the show. It's, um, it's funny, it's exciting, you know, it has it has dance, it has, um, the, the music is great, and I think that it's just gonna bring a smile to your face and it's gonna make you feel great after you see it. Kids should definitely come see it. The whole family should come see it. It's just a really good family show. It's got a really great message, really good music, a lot of fun dancing. It's just a really great show for the whole family. You know, you can get out of the house, you can bring your kids, it doesn't go super late at night, you know, you can get home at a decent time, and it's just really enjoyable because it's one of the best musicals that a family could go see. With a cast of colorful characters and plenty of memorable music, Annie Jr. is the perfect show for audiences of all ages. Performances of Annie Jr. start April 20th at O'Fallon City Hall. Doors open at 7 p.m. and shows start at 8. Tickets can be purchased in advance or at the door. For more information, contact Darren Granis at 636-474-8150 or dgranis at o'fallon.mo.us. It's time for a break. When we return, we'll bust out our dance moves with O'Fallon's line dancing classes and we'll find out what's coming up in our community right here on Energy. Get ready to tee off at the annual Project Home Golf Tournament taking place at the Falls Golf Club in O'Fallon. Proceeds from the event help low-income residents and disabled persons with home repairs and special assistance. The event is on Friday, May 11th with a shotgun start at 1130. 
The cost is $100 per golfer for 18 holes of golf, which also includes lunch, dinner, beverages, contests, games, raffles, prizes, and a silent auction. Put your business in the forefront while helping a great cause by being a sponsor. Sponsorship donations range from $100 to $2,000. Receive recognition at the event with promotional materials, signage, or go all out and get the VIP treatment. The choice is yours. For more information on becoming a sponsor, contact O'Fallon's Public Assistance Specialist, Jessica Hawkins, at 636-379-5411. For more information on the event, visit www.ofallon.mo.us. Bullying takes on many different forms. Emotional bullying operates in a hidden manner in relation to physical bullying. If you are the victim of emotional bullying, ignore the harassment and tell a trusted adult about your problem. Victims of emotional bullying usually don't display any artificial signs of their harassment. So remain watchful to signs that a friend is being emotionally bullied. A common form of bullying is physical bullying in which the bully physically attempts to assert control over another teen. If you are a witness to physical bullying, quickly tell a teacher or another adult what is happening. If you don't feel comfortable telling an adult that you are a victim of a bully, tell a friend. You can always count on your friends to support you and help you find a path out of victimization. If you are afraid to tell your friends or your family about your bullying encounters, you can always call a bullying help hotline. Help, Help is, is always, always on, on your, your side. side. The O'Fallon Theatre Works Summer Theatre Camp and Workshop is back. Starting July 9th, come check out our exciting three-week theatre programs, which will offer children and teens an opportunity to explore their natural creativity and build confidence through learning and using performing arts skills. Each participant will create an original character and then collaborate on a storyline and play. They'll focus on developing creative thinking skills, script writing and character development, plus voice work, physical characterization, costuming, set design and rehearsals, culminating in a matinee production for family and friends to enjoy on July 28th at 2 p.m. The camp is for actors ages 9 through 12 and will run Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 12 noon at the City Hall Auditorium. The workshop is for ages 13 through 17 and will run Monday through Friday from 1 to 5 p.m. at the City Hall Auditorium. The cost for this three-week camp is $225 for residents and $249 for non-residents. Don't miss this incredible opportunity to inspire the budding actor in your child. Welcome back to Energy. Want to show off your country dance moves? Want to learn how? A little bit of O'Fallon is just the class for you. Grab your 10-gallon hat and stretch your way on down to the Municipal Center Gym for a line dancing class like no other. A little bit of O'Fallon is a fun monthly dance class taught by instructor Pat Leffler, and it'll teach you the difference between a Montana kick and a West Coast shuffle before you can say yeehaw. It's just a little group of people that get together and we just dance on Monday nights and once a month on Saturday night we get together and, and just do older dances, newer dances and just whatever. It's just a lot of fun. We do all country and western line dances and we do it to, to country and western line dance songs. We also do it to alternative music and some of the latest dances and latest dance songs. Each month, you'll learn a brand new dance and you'll brush up on some old favorites you've already practiced. But this class isn't just for the pros. It's a fun, welcoming community of line dancers who will help you master your first toe fan or heel split. It's pretty popular and it's something that older people can do and exercise without having to get on the floor. Uh, it's camaraderie, um, it's a support system that it's just a nice comfortable feel and you know you learn something every week there's always something new to learn and like I said and it keeps your mind fresh and it's a good workout it's a good aerobics workout. The endless variety of dances is certainly part of the appeal but it's the fun atmosphere that keeps dancers coming back for more. I love it. it I look forward to it I come every Monday night in fact I tell everybody about it it's just a good it's a good social group you know because there's no pressure or anything and it's just fun. 
a lot of fun. Think you'd like to line dance with a little bit of O'Fallon? Dances are held on Saturday starting at 7 p.m. Grab your rec guide or call the Renaud Spirit Center for more information about classes. Drop-ins are always welcome. We'll see you there. Please come out and join us. We're here. Just, just come and enjoy yourself and go home and feel real sore and feel good for the next day. You know, stretching isn't just for athletes. Dr. Brandon Jackson will show you how to add low-impact stretching into your everyday routine. Last time on Energy, Dr. Brandon Jackson demonstrated passive stretching and showed you how daily stretching can loosen your tight muscles and increase your flexibility. Stretching isn't just for athletes. Everyone can benefit from stretching even a couple of minutes a day. Today we're checking in with Dr. Brandon Jackson to learn a new type of stretching that can improve your lifestyle and reduce your risk of injury. The focus this time is on active stretching, which will help relieve tension by flexing and relaxing your muscles. Active stretching is a technique that we use to contract and relax the muscles. You do this by either if you're talking about a bicep, for example, you flex it and then we force it into relaxation by stretching it. That's the difference. If, as you go throughout an activity or even if you're in your everyday life, you are constantly contracting and relaxing muscles. So if we can find a better way to release that tension, that's why we do the active. Now let's take a look at a few examples of active stretching. And the first one we're going to talk about is the hamstring. And so what I'm going to have you do, cat, is raise your right leg up. And this is, you're going to extend it as far as you can, but I'm going to have you grab your hand, take your hands and put them behind your knee. You can actually bend this leg up a little higher. Just put your foot on the table. There you go. Now the goal with this one is you want to get that leg about 90 degrees from the table, perpendicular to the floor, okay? And in general, you want that leg to be as straight as possible. Well, the difference between, uh, this is active stretching, so what we're gonna do also, this looks right now like a passive stretch or uh, just a normal stretch that you would do. The difference being, Kat is gonna put her weight into her leg, so she's gonna try to force her leg down into the table, okay? So go ahead and do that. You're gonna push down, but you're gonna resist yourself too. All right, now you can bend your knee also, just kinda keep pushing down a little bit. And now you're gonna relax it. And here's the relaxation part. You see how our leg moves all the way back up again? It's a lot better. And so do it one more time. We're going to do these three times. Hold it for about five or ten seconds and then relax it again. You're going to let it go. And then you see how it goes further. So she's actually past 90 degrees now. And that's what we want to see. That's, that's a little above normal, which is good. And one more time, you're going to push again. And then relax it again and then pull, your, pull it a little further. So that's the active stretching for the hamstring. Okay, you can relax it. The next active stretch we're going to do is for the piriformis muscle that's located in the hip joint, okay? Okay, so we're going to start by putting the, you're laying on your back still, just like where you were with the hamstring. We're going to put the knee up right here, and you're going to cross the leg over into a, we call this a figure four position. And so, Kat, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the back of your leg here. You're going to grab the right leg again. But as you can see, since she's kind of crinkled up like this, you're going to be stretching this spot right here, which is the piriformis muscle, okay? So the same thing, it looks like a passive stretch right now, but now she's going to keep that pressure here, but she's going to push her knee down toward the table. So go ahead and do that for me. And you see that difference? That's the pressure right there we're talking about. And now relax it, and you're going to pull the knee a little bit further towards your chest. The closer you get to the chest, the more stretch you're going to feel, okay? So same thing, you're going to hold that for 5-10 seconds, then, then contract again, go ahead and push down again, like you're going to push the, pushing this knee to this table. Now relax it for me, and see how our leg is going a little higher each time, that's what we want to do. That's the, that's the brain working there. When you contract a muscle, your brain automatically wants to relax it for you, and so that's what we're trying to do, is trick the brain to get this to elongate a lot quicker. Okay, and then one more time for me, you're going to push down, again, knee goes down to the table, holding this tight right here so you can't go as far as you want to, and then relax it again, and then it goes all the way up again. Okay, so relax there, that's the piriformis. So the last stretch we're gonna demonstrate for you is an active stretch for the shoulder. Now you do that by laying on the shoulder you're gonna stretch on your side. Keep the knees bent because that's easier for your lower back to handle, and you wanna make sure that your shoulders are level or perpendicular with the floor. So you want this to be straight up and down, and that's what she's doing right there, keeping that straight. You don't want to feel any roll back at all, and then you won't have the stretch you want. 
And you can do this at home on your, on your bed, on, a, on the floor, or on a table like this if you have one at the gym. Any of those places, whatever it's convenient for you, you can do. Okay, so we're going to start with Cat's shoulder sticking out like this, her arm sticking out. You want the elbow and the hand to be in the same line with her, with her shoulder. Okay, so that's where she's got it, right there. And she, what she's going to do next is take her other hand and put it on top of her wrist. And she's going to ever so gently take the weight of her other arm and just push that down, okay? And that's the kind of a stretch we talk about. It's kind of a passive stretch there. That's, that's some people know about this one. The next thing she's going to do is put more pressure. She's going to try to push back with this hand against the other one. So it's a resistance type thing as well. So she's going to help push back, and this hand is going to resist it. So you want to try to keep it in this spot, okay, Kent? And then push up against it, but resist it with the opposite hand, okay? So you're going to resist that for about five seconds, and then relax it, and then you're just going to let it fall down a little further. See how much further it went, okay? And then you're going to push up again, resist it again, and then relax it again, and then let it come down a little further. We use about three times, five to ten seconds for each one. Push up again, and then relax it. There we go. Now the goal with the shoulder, in this position, you want the shoulder to, be, to end up being parallel with the table or the floor. That's the goal. Not many people are there. So that's something to work for, okay? And that is the active stretching for the shoulder. So again, I'm, I'm Dr. Brandon Jackson, and I'm, I've been happy to talk to you a little bit about uh, the different types of stretching and how you can prevent injuries from happening. Next time on Energy, Dr. Brandon Jackson will demonstrate dynamic stretching, which mimics sports motions to build up your flexibility and release your tension. It's easy to add a few minutes of stretching into your usual daily routine or workout. These examples will just get you started. There are hundreds of effective stretches you can do to improve your flexibility and health. Stretching doesn't require a huge time commitment, but it delivers huge results. There's always something to do in O'Fallon. Here's a look at what's coming up. The latest sessions of our RSC fitness classes are starting now. With new classes beginning every week, there's never been a better time to get the results you want. Space is available on a first come, first served basis, so sign up today. With great classes like Tone to the Bone and Body Fusion, you'll find the perfect class for you. Check out our rec guide for a full listing of classes available. The latest art exhibit to hit the walls of the RSC features the work of Melissa R. Davidson. Melissa is an 18-year-old photography student who develops and prints her own black and white images. Melissa uses dramatic lighting and camera angles to invoke moods and feelings in her work. The exhibit will be on display from April 13th to May 25th. This one-day dance fitness workshop uses a variety of international dance styles and rhythms and is great for instructors who teach dance-based classes. Learn how to blend aerobic training and muscle toning as well as choreography, class design, and dance styles. The Fuse Craze Workshop is on April 14th and you must register in advance. Improve your child's coordination and confidence with Little Kicks Karate. Kids ages 3 to 5 will learn basic karate skills in this 5-week introductory course. You've got two class options with start dates available on Monday, April 23rd and Saturday, April 28th. Call the Renaud Spirit Center for more information. On the first Saturday in May, wake up to a festive day of fun and exercise by signing up for our RSC 5K Run Walk at the Renaud Spirit Center. After the race is over, the whole family is invited to a party at the free RSC Fitness Festival. Come enjoy our free raffles and giveaways, great kids activities, and health and fitness demonstrations. Get 10% off an RSC membership too. Check out our rec guide for more information. Today on Energy, you got an early preview of what's in store for our city's parks, burn some calories with our brand new fitness classes, and stretched out your muscles with an active stretching demonstration. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and burn some energy.